놈들은 다음 조각이 어디 있는지 알고 있다. 그 수장이 말하기를 썩어가는 숲 근처에 있는 가라앉은 사원이 아닐까요? 전에 아저씨께서 이야기해 주셨잖아요. 제대로 맞췄다, 레아야. 그 사원은 네팔렘이 지은 것이다. 레아야, 네 지식이 큰 도움이 되겠구나. 가서 우리 친구가 검조각을 되찾게 도와드리거라. 네팔렘은 엄청난 능력을 지닌 고대 인간이에요. 전설에선 그 사원 근처에서 끔찍한 전투가 벌어졌고 그때 죽은 영혼들이 아직도 서로 싸운다고 해요. 나 지금 진지하다. 척하는 거 아니다. 진짜 스로 레알 심각 모드. 자주 뿌려도 금세 건조해지는 것 같아. 마르면 피부가 좀. 주... Previously on Dracula, we schemed and built this empire of lies. One good reason I should not be like a great cosmic. It'd still be rotting in that iron box. From this day forward, you are an American industrialist. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Alexander Grayson. I give to you free wire.
Surely you recognize the blades of some religious. Exquisite, aren't they? Now then, let me introduce myself. My name is Abraham Van Helsing. I will tear your heart out, peasant. And you are Lan, the third. Prince of Malachia, second son. Of the House of Bazaran. Also known as Vlad Tepesh. Vlad the Impaler. Dracula. Soon, the sun will take you, and you will be no more. But at least, in your case, unlike my own, there will be one who deeply mourns your passing. For with your death, so too will pass my last chance to obliterate the Order of the Dragon. What is the Order of Draco to you? They slaughtered my wife, Adeline. And my three children, they stole from me everything in this world that I have loved. Everything you have loved. I don't know. They burned her alive, as they did my Adeline. And if you die this day, you will never face justice for these and all the other vile crimes they've committed in the Lord's name. No man can change that. True. But you are far greater than any mortal man. Though I possess the means, I lack the power, the presence, and the ruthlessness to wield a tiny effect. Only you and I. Together, can destroy them. You say you have means. I do. And stop wasting my time. Remove this accursed blade before your confederate is ready to ask. Every move you make is another card face up on the table. So Clive is slaughtered as a vampire in London. Then Krieger, a huntsman. I had no choice. He saw my face. A seasoned huntsman. Now they will take their seals if they haven't already. I can deal with that. And no doubt, we get yet another machine. How do require stealth? You would deliver mayhem. Also purposely on the list to make geomagnetic power a practical reality and wipe out the order's investments in oil. And the course. You are lucky I fed. You are Must I? Stop it, big baby. Knives, swords, dances, steps. A century in a metal box. Mere annoyances. But your needles be dead of me. It cannot be allowed. Your blood is a necessary component if you are able to conquer the It's not the blood you draw that fixes me, that person. But the sublime pleasure you draw from its taking. Must your progress be so painfully slow? You must have pleasure. When? When it's done. Shall I have the pleasure of wearing your colors? Huh. It's all for a good cause, I know, but I would like to see them advance beyond the semi-final at least. 
And what fair lady shall be my prize? Should I find her? Seriously? Hello, Minna. Oh dear, whatever happened? Oh, sure. it's nothing really, just a little accident at the university. I was practicing my surgical technique and managed to cut myself to ribbons. Silly. <laughs> but at any rate, it did give me a chance to brush up on my suturing. Stitches? Yes, I stitched it right up across the thumb at me. Oh, good Lord, please stop. We've only just finished lunch. <laughs> Nemo, what kept you? I found my champion. Only one? Oh, don't tell me you put all three ribbons on one man again. <laughs> well, why hedge when the outcome of the wager is certain? <laughs> Shh. He's up. It's Alistair. Of course. His opponent is Daniel Davenport, the son of Lord Davenport yes, and the reigning champion. Well, not for long. Alistair will not have it. Haven't reported single incidents in Sylvester Kruger. He's gone to ground. Perhaps, yes. Or gone altogether. Truth! I take it then you'll be summoning another huntsman to replace Kruger, perhaps McLaughlin from Glasgow. I'd rather handle this one myself. It is about time I had some fun for a change. That's my girl. I have no objection to my deployment of the Sears. Must you? There's more than a whiff of sulfur about those two. But better the devil you know. Very well, if you must. This is my treat. No, please. Not. Absolutely not. I insist. Did you get the raise? He says they're looking to it. Sorry, mate. This rate, by the time I'll be able to afford a wife, me and I'll be at advanced old age. I didn't say that. Well, not both of you, at least. You do have a few years of the girl. Mr. Renfield, this is my co-chairman on the board of British Imperial Cooling Company, Lord Lawrence. Pleasure. Please. Sit. I'm sorry, but I really don't have much time. My driver is waiting, and you indicated in your wire that this was a matter of some urgency. It is. Namely, I've become uncomfortable with our business relationship. It's nothing personal, of course. I just don't like partners in general. I see. 
So you wish to sell your shares? <laughs> I'd be happy to... No, 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 no. I have no interest in selling my interest. I was rather hoping that you would entertain an offer for your interest. Renfield? Certainly not. You haven't even looked at the offer. I do not need to see your offer, sir. My interests are not for sale, at any price. See, Renfield? Not for sale, at any price. Good day, sir. If I may ask a question, sir. I'd rather you didn't. And yet I know somehow you will. I still don't understand your circumspection. Why engage Harker and bring a woman into your orbit? Surely you have the power to simply take her. I can't. I know it sounds absurd. And someone such as I would hesitate to act on moral grounds. But to simply take the woman, to turn her into such as I am, it would be an abomination. No, Renville. I cannot, I will not, take her. Yet still you seek to draw her in. To what possible end? Now that I cannot say. I only know to lose her twice. Chop, chop. I take it our interview was a feather in your cap. My editor was quite pleased. But? Well, I was hoping for something rather more tangible than a feather. As you should. It's perfectly reasonable to expect a reward when one demonstrates initiative. A man should never be ashamed of ambition. Only the lack of it. Well, that may be true in America. No, Harker. It's simply true. Everywhere. In every man's heart. Even in yours. Especially yours. If you don't mind, I have a little business matter to attend to. Of course. Ah, uh, Mr. Grayson. You've met my man Renfield? I have. It's my young friend, Mr. Harker. How do you do? Shall we? By all means. This is the main entry hall. As you can see, it's quite spacious. On, to the left is the boring room. There's a full cellar, of course, including kitchen and pantry, four bedrooms upstairs, and servants' quarters are on the second floor. Thank you. I must say, I was keenly impressed by your insights regarding the supply of cells. How shall I like this? Mark Farmers for games of chance. It was nothing really. Quite the contrary. They proved very helpful indeed in persuading his widow and selling me his interest in a company I had my eye on. British Imperial Cool. The very same. Of course, I don't yet have a controlling interest. Which is where you come in. Gentlemen, is everything in order? Yes, sir. I need a vice president of public affairs. A man with a certain finesse and a thorough knowledge of who's who and what's what. The primary duties of the position will be to assist me in navigating the course through British society and her business community. Enjoy your new home, Mr. Grayson. I shall see you to all the details with the executive. Thank you. Oh, hold on a minute. Is, is this Sir Clive's old place? Got it for a song, really. Little paint, little polish. So, 
Parker. It's yours. If you accept my offer. I can't have my attache living in a hovel. I can't. Um, is that a yes? Uh, no. I, I, I mean... No, I'm, I'm sorry, this is very unexpected. Think about it. Of course, the position comes with a generous salary. However, I cannot wait indefinitely for an answer. So I'll need yours by Monday morning. Is that okay with you? Yes, of course. Do me a favor, will you, Harker? Turn out the lights and lock up. I just know I'm going to botch it. I will be lucky to pass, much less be chosen as Professor Van Helsing's protege. You'll, you'll do fine. No, Jonathan, I most decidedly will not do fine. The cardiovascular system is the most complex structure we've studied this term, and surgical skills are not my forte. They never have been. If I don't pass this examination, I won't advance past fourth year. Jonathan. You haven't heard a word I've said. Of course I have. You've got a test on the anterior thing in the book, and I'm quite certain that you'll leave all the other students in the shade. Hmm. I got the most extraordinary offer. What? Mr. Grayson has offered me a position in his firm. Alexander Grayson? Yeah, yes. Well, well then you simply must take it. Though you even wouldn't know what it entails. Of course I do. Tell me everything about it.
He's offered to buy you out. For treble, the book value. For the Severely upon our portfolio. Oh, yeah. 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 